All right, we're back with Mycon, Mora, and Joker. And they did some damage, if I'm not mistaken, in a good way on uh, Tuesday. Let's see how they can end it out. They scored 120 points, so similar to Sunny, who just ran with Dylan. They also had 120 points coming into today, and we saw how well they ran. So let's see what Mycon and Joker can get up to. Found a sheep right away. Lifted. Sheep. Oh, I said sheep again. There I go. There I go. Man, those brown <laughs> Spending too much time sheep. working sheep. But yeah, found his cattle right away. Got them lifted. Coming with nice pace. Coming with nice control. And uh, I think he's going to be pretty pretty comfortable with this fetch here at a minute. That's a that's a solid fetch time. It is when the cattle cross that obstacle that is used to determine tie breaks in the event that more than one person has the same amount of points. So the fact that he got through there in a minute, I'm going to be really happy with that. But smart move there just to keep things calm. There was a moment where it looked like those cattle might just keep running, and uh, that can be a killer on this course. Even though there are those big cross drives, there are multiple obstacles that really need a kind of a fine tooth comb in terms of uh, steering and precision. And if your cattle are getting used to trotting too much, that can be hard to pull off. He's coming in nice. He's only at two minutes and he's already getting to obstacle three. Just needs a nice come by flank here and he's gonna get it. Maybe a bit fast, but not egregious. Now he's gotta cover this side. Doesn't want these things sneaking out. He gets there. Really nice job from Joker to cover. Change any opinions that those uh, those heifers might have about slipping out the bottom here. And that will probably be the fastest we've ever seen someone come out of obstacle three. Maybe James Butler with Dolly earlier today was faster. I don't know. But uh, we, we've not seen many people on their way to obstacle four with full points under three minutes. It's uh, really good. Looking really good here. Nice pace on his dog. Gets those fast flanks when he needs them for those little adjustments, but not riling up his cattle too much. A bit fast here, we don't want that. He caught it, luckily. The thing for him now is he's got such a good time. You know, use some of it. This isn't the finals yet. If you can get full points here today, you're in good shape terms of uh, your chance of qualifying. That said, it will be aggregate over the course of all three runs if you make the final, so he might be thinking that's time is better. But things have been settled down here nicely. Got his cattle not all the way lined up once looked out this side. So of course with the amount of time he's got left, he's going to go give that another shot. thing here though is how do you line them up without losing too much time there we go that looks good just needs to tuck them in little flanks he's got it perfect he caught it just oh he caught it on one end and lost it on the other that's a hard but again, he's only at 4 minutes and 45 seconds. Most people aren't through obstacle 3 yet. So he's still sitting good. Now 
looking at it. They're looking at it. Needs that straggler at the back to join its friends. This is looking promising here. No mistakes this time. He's got them. He's got them all the way through nice and clean. And he's on his way to five. Five is a bit of a breather obstacle. It's a little easier than the two that came before it, but it is not a freebie. As some have discovered, it is not one you can just kind of turn your back on and head head home confident knowing you get it automatically. These cattle do want some some work to be done to to push them through the top of that triangle, and uh, they have no complaints about running around one side or the other. gonna try for a fast flank. I don't know if fast is gonna do it for him though. Yep. Might need to just give him a bit of daylight. Try another approach and it looks like that's what he's gonna do here. Got one. Got two. Got three. There we go. The daylight strategy rarely fails. Good move there from my cone. Now he's just gonna keep his lead heifer from giving herself an early retirement and uh, regroup. Still has tons of time. He's spoiled for time here. Three minutes. With how well he and Joker have been working, that's plenty to get a few good shots at, at this pen and this sort. But he's also got a little bit of an adventurous effort here. She might have other ideas. I've seen a lot of this today where there's kind of two that are happy to stick close to each other that just gets to thinking there might be a better life for them elsewhere. But he's really done a nice job getting them a little bit more sorted. One is thinking about going in. Another's right there with her. And there's a third here at the back that might just follow quietly behind. And that's going to be good. He's going to get his pen here. Just needs to put, make sure they're tucked all the way in there to get his points, which he does. And he's he's left himself plenty of time for a sort. Almost two minutes. One out the bottom. That's usually the one you can get easiest. And then one out the side. And don't let her don't let her escape. There you go. He's done it. Beautiful. That'll be a full point run.